What's up guys? We're back down in the garage with the 24 KTM 300 XC. We got some parts here. Well, a part. We're gonna throw one and uh, see how see how we like it. <clears throat> here it is. It is a nine ounce clutch weight. Um, I'm gonna throw it on the 300 XC. Uh, it's a lot easier, a lot cheaper than flywheel weight, and we'll see how it compares. I've only ran a flywheel weight, I think, one time, and it's been quite a few years ago. So, But anyhow, we're going to get this put in and see how it does. I'm pretty excited to try it. First thing I'm going to do is take this brake clevis uh, bolt out so I can get this brake compressed, get it out of the way. That way it's not, uh, you can see, it's kind of hard to get to that bolt, and I don't want to be bumping stuff and and uh, making a mess, dropping dirt in there. Now this pulls right out, so be careful you don't lose this. Then we'll just pop the spring off the uh, brake pedal here, just so we can keep it down here without it springing back up. Go ahead and loosen the bolts for the clutch cover. It is a good idea just to um, change the oil. I always change the oil anytime I have the clutch cover off. Okay, so we got this loose. I'm gonna get something to put this down on so we don't get any dirt on the inside. Okay, so next thing, I'm gonna take the six bolts out of the bevel washer spring. Now always use a torque wrench whenever you're tightening up uh, bolts like this so you don't get them too tight. Uh, last thing you want to do is strip these out. Um, always clean things up before you uh, put that back on there because it is a gasket on there. Clutch weights in, clutch covers on, time to put the brake back on. Now on this we'll put the spring back on first now whenever you put the brake clevis back in be careful and make sure that you get this rubber boot back over it it's kind of pulled down a little bit all right guys so the clutch weight is in get this thing out there and go for a ride i'm pretty excited run chicken run!
Okay guys, so just got back from a ride. Spent about an hour on the bike after the clutch weight install. You can definitely tell it's there, but the, the results are very subtle. If you're exp expecting a night and day difference, um, you know, no, <laughs> it's, it's not. It's a little bit less than what I thought. I thought nine ounces, you know, a little over half a pound of rotating mass would, would make a pretty big difference. So the bike and some of the, the tighter switchbacks that I did were really good. Um, some of the long sweeping corners, it really, really helped uh, smooth out the power, I guess you could say. A flywheel weight's definitely a much more drastic improvement if that's what you're looking for. It definitely tames the, it definitely tames the, the engine power down quite a lot versus a clutch weight. All in all, I think it's a really good product for $30. It, it definitely helps out. If you're looking for just a little bit more um, traction in some places or just to, just to slow the rev down just a, a tiny little bit, I think it's a great product. I really do. But do I think it's anywhere near what a flywheel weight is? No, no it's not. Once I get a flywheel weight, I think it's definitely coming out. Yeah. Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.